Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on the Focus ST Estate, the ex-police one. In today's video, we're gonna do the final finishing touches, polish up a few bits, and then we're gonna crunch the numbers. Loads of you have been asking about what they cost, what we sell them for, and so on and so forth. You've all been requesting it, so uh, today's video, we're gonna go for a price breakdown, work out what it owes, and what I'm gonna put it up for sale for. Um, while I've been busy, I've got my mate to give me a hand. Um, I've got him to give it a wash and valet all the interior, clean it all, shampoo it all, and sort all that out. Uh, I'll turn you around and show you uh, what it looks like. It's come up really well. There we go. As you can see, it's looking nice from the outside under these lights. Um, this isn't the side that we painted. We painted the other side. But in here, it still looks really nice, but there are a few marks. There's not much clarity on this side in the paintwork, so we're going to sort that out and we're going to try and buff out some of the light and scratches that's on it. There's the interior. All shampooed, looking really, really nice now. Maybe all good old clean up, smells lovely in here now. Um, yeah, he's actually put this on his YouTube channel. My mate's got a YouTube channel. I think it's uh, Reflect Automotive Detailing. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description. He's uh, new to YouTube. He's uh, growing his channel. He's doing really well. Some good content for you car guys that like cleaning and stuff. A few bits of dust. This blooming pollen is everywhere. The last few days, it's been going crazy. So um, yeah, interior's come up really well. Really happy with that. Let's show you some of these scratches and uh, tell you what we're gonna do and get on with it. Right, so on the bonnet, you can see these, it's got some scratches and marks there. Over here, we've got a bit of a flat spot. And then the same again over here. Some flat spots in the paint. I mean, in general, it does look clean. I mean, don't get me wrong, seven years old. Uh, but, all up the pillar. Loads of light scratches and marks. Need sorting out, restore some clarity to that paint as well. It's not very uh, shiny. I'm guessing this is where they're all bent over and nicked. <laughs> Scuffed all the bits up. But yeah, there's lots of light, general scratches around there and stuff that we're going to try and remove, sort out. That pillars, look at all the swell marks in there. We're not going for a full on paint correction. We're just Gonna restore some clarity, take some of the worst marks out, and we're just gonna try and make it look nice again. That's all that needs to be done. It's not a concourse car, it never will be. Uh, it's been really used, it's done 150,000 miles, but we're gonna make it clean, presentable, and sellable. All that side's nice, we've done that, so that's not a problem. So yeah, I'm gonna, uh, Get my rotary out. We're gonna take care of these um, worst marks. Uh, I'll work out what pattern compound I'm gonna use, and I'll cut back in, in a bit and we'll go from there. Right, there we go, that's what I've chosen. So we're gonna go with some Koch Chemi H901, uh, heavy cut compound with the Blue Rupes uh, cutting pad, uh, a very well used one, <laughs> getting my money's worth. Uh, and then we're going to go for the F601, which is their light refining medium sort of polish. So on the H9, uh, what you've got is you've got nine on the cut and a five on the gloss, which I mean, actually works out really nice, to be honest. And then you've got the fine cut, which is a six on the cut and a seven on the gloss, bumps up the gloss. That's just to refine down some of the bigger scratches. And then I'm going to work out what to go around the rest of it with uh, finishing glaze wise so panel wipe in between sets um, obviously got my light to have a little look uh, it's a scan grip light if any of you ask uh, yeah let's crack on get this done There we go. 
So, most of the um, marks that were there have all come out. They're looking fine. Then another one up there. And down here. What I'm gonna probably end up doing is I'm just gonna buzz around the whole bonnet because there's so many bits. Um, we just restore some of the clarity with that heavier cut and then we can buzz around it with the rest of it. So the major marks that I wanted out have come out, they're looking fine. So I'm gonna nip around the rest of this quick and then we'll get on to the next stage. alert so I just buzzed over that nothing um, major just a quick one and it's restored quite a lot of clarity just from one pass really uh, it's took a lot of the other marks out we're going to use the uh, other abrasive to um, refine it down a little bit if we drag that out into the sun now, there'd be lines all up it, you'd be able to see. In here you can't, but outside in the sun you would. So, um, yeah, we're gonna change pad, swap over to the um, yellow one, and uh, refine that down a little bit with that, and we'll go from there, see you in a sec. So, we're not aiming for perfection, but as you can see, I've restored a lot of clarity by cutting it and refining it slightly. Just a quick pass, and it's brought some shine back, and it's looking quite well, to be fair. Um, I forgot to mention, uh, the panel wipe I'm using today is a slow panel wipe. It is so hot out here. Excuse the noise, faultless. Uh, the panel temperature, I don't know if you'll be able to see, 29.1. Uh, let's try and gun my shutter. 35 odd. It is so hot, I've probably picked the worst day to do this. Um, but, needs must, we've got to get cracking. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go yeah, bear with, back in a sec. Go with a Hexlogic finishing pad. I'm gonna go with the Koch Chemi M201. This is their finishing one. So really low cut, three on the cut, and nine on the gloss. So we're gonna go for the trio of Koch Chemi today. So I'm gonna buzz over this uh, and take any of the holograms out and stuff like that. And then we can uh, get to the other side there and have a look and make our minds up what we're gonna do. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this up with a finishing glaze now, remove any swirls, holograms, stuff like that, and uh, see what it looks like. So, as you can see, if I can see in the uh, camera, you definitely can see. Hell of a lot better. Lovely shine, all the clarity is restored and all the horrible marks are gone. So, now we can crack on, move on around the side and decide what we're doing.
There we go, guys. We've restored some clarity. We've got a nice shine back. Like I said before, we're not going mad. We weren't aiming for perfection. What we was aiming for was that. We've brought clarity back to the paint. It's looking nice. It's looking shiny. It's got a good, healthy shine back on it now. And it looks like it should look. So, that'll do me. Let's crack on with the numbers. Right guys, number crunching time. Loads of you ask me all the time. It's not something I've ever thought of doing, but um, I do know a lot of other YouTube channels do it. So um, yeah, let's go with it. So, the Focus Estate. Uh, I paid £2,858.80 for it with uh, all the fees. £100 for recovery, £24.99 for a squib, £40.50p for aerial, uh, £245 for steering rack, wheel refurb was £250, tracking was £35, paint and materials I put £200. Quid. Um, could be a bit more, a bit, bit less. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, clock spring, £30.59p. The one that I bought uh, had an airbag light on and didn't work. So I had to buy another one, uh, £35. MOT was 45 I had to put a brand new tyre on it. That was 55 um, And then... I didn't include it comes to three thousand nine hundred and nineteen pound and eighty eight pence then i had to pay to have the rack put on and i also had to pay a guy to program the rack um the guy charged me 60 quid to do the programming and my mate charged me i think it was about 70 quid to put the rack on so we're just a shade over four grand in total uh on that car now, when I bought the car, at the time of buying it, the cheapest ST estate, that shape that I could find, uh, was seven grand. So, uh, don't get me wrong, this is category N, and it's done 150,000 miles. It's not going to make seven grand, but it should piss five grand. Um, obviously, my labour and the work that I have done on it and what have you, um, I pay myself a wage. So, yeah, I'm going to want... Yeah, I'm going to want five for my work and five profit, if that makes sense. So it's going to be, uh, I'll probably chuck it on eBay. It's, I'm, going to want, I'm going to put it on auction, three-day auction, no reserve, see what it makes. But I'd like to see it see five grand, in all fairness. Um, five grand or over is a bonus. So anything above five grand is a bonus for me. But five grand gets me my wages and a bit of profit. So, uh, yeah, I think that's well achievable. The car is a nice, clean car. Um, it's seven years old, don't get me wrong, but in general, it drives spot on. It, it goes like stink, to be honest. Oh, I didn't even include the service. My bad. It's had a full service as well, uh, and all the service parts. So that's probably a couple of hundred quid odd on top. Didn't even think. Yeah, so that's painted. So the full interior clean, so the full valet, uh, there's cam chain on that so we didn't have to do the cam belt. Um, yeah, so we're probably 43-ish, I would say, give or take. I'll be more prepared on the next one. <laughs> I just, I do note everything down what I do on each vehicle anyway. Um, but I haven't updated this and a lot of you in the comments keep saying about can you do this, can you know, so I've just reading off here and i haven't updated it properly so yeah i'd say it owes about 43 maybe 44 give or take um so yeah five five upwards we're, go we're good i would say um so i'm gonna get that sorted out i'm gonna take it for a drive double check everything um i have done some miles in it uh it's been to london and back a few times um so yeah, I, I know that it's that it's all all in order, but um, yeah, I'm gonna drive it a little bit more, and then I'm gonna end up chucking it up for sale. So um, yeah, that's it. Final sort of video on the ST. Uh, hope you liked it. Um, 
as always if you haven't already subscribed hit that button thanks for watching everyone and uh we'll see you on the next one stay safe and be lucky i'm going home it's absolutely melting and uh i'm gonna go and enjoy a nice cold drink laters